With Blackpink currently being one of the most popular groups in the world, it's understandable that they have become the standard bearers for girl groups across entertainment companies. Even the chairperson of Hybe Corporation, Banksy Huck himself, once hailed Blackpink as the top idol group in the world, and surely he must always be obsessed with the challenge of creating a girl group that could potentially replace Blackpink. Recently, fans were surprised when they arrived at Incheon International Airport. They no longer saw the familiar large billboard featuring the members of Blackpink. Instead, it was adorned with new images of the New Jeans girls. On March 22nd, Incheon Airport officially announced New Jeans as their new ambassadors after the seven-year contract with Blackpink came to an end. Not only that, but it seems that the New Jeans girls are also targeting fashion contracts previously held by Blackpink, as Celine recently announced their newest global ambassador. Previously, when it comes to the fashion brand Celine, everyone couldn't help but mention its first-ever global ambassador, Lisa. To be honest, Celine wasn't well known worldwide until Lisa became an ambassador. Since becoming Hedy Slimane's muse in January 2019 and announcing her global ambassadorship in September 2020, Lisa has become the perfect brand representative at events worldwide, significantly impacting Celine's sales and image. However, on March 22nd, Lisa's tenure as a global ambassador came to an abrupt end after nearly four years, with Celine officially announcing their new global ambassador, Danielle, a member of the one-and-a-half-year-old girl group New jeans, despite Danielle never having attended any events for the brand. Prior to this, rumors circulated about Lisa parting ways with the brand when netizens noticed her reduced presence at the brand's events towards the end of last year, coupled with her not wearing the brand's clothing at recent public appearances. The climax was when Lisa did not promote the brand's fall-winter 2024 women's wear collection, but instead unexpectedly attended Louis Vuitton's fashion show last March. Considering both Louis Vuitton and Celine are subsidiaries of the world's largest luxury conglomerate LVMH, many speculated that Lisa might upgrade her image by becoming a global ambassador for Louis Vuitton instead of Celine. However, before any official announcement, fans' reactions to Celine introducing their newest global ambassador were understandable. The phrase, sell the Celine, quickly trended on social media as fans began selling their Celine items, assuming Lisa was no longer associated with the brand. However, in my opinion, given Lisa's straightforward nature, she may have sought complete freedom as her contract with Celine likely had terms tying her to YG. However, recently, netizens were shocked when the amount YG spent to retain the members of Blackpink was disclosed. On March 21st, the Financial Supervisory Services Electronic Disclosure System Business Report revealed that YG had allocated approximately $30.6 million as an exclusive down payment for intangible assets in 2023. Considering Blackpink and Baby Monster were the only artists to renew and sign contracts last year, many believe that the majority of this amount is allocated to retaining the Blackpink members within the company. Furthermore, the annual depreciation expense of $4.1 million suggests a projection that these renewals could cover a seven-year contract term. However, on March 22nd, YG quickly clarified through a statement that the speculated high contract renewal fee for the Blackpink members was not accurate and the entire amount was not solely allocated for that purpose. Alongside this, a YG official also revealed to Yonhap News that they were preparing plans for Blackpink's group activities. Although this statement serves to calm investors and fans, it continues to ignite hope for Blinks, especially as producer Charmian has recently been rumored to replace Teddy in working on music with Blackpink. What do you think about this?